All right, so what up, world? My name is S A R K O D I E Sakode from Ghana, West Africa. Hey, Sakode in the building. So just want to say congratulations for being the first Ghanaian artist to win the BT International Award. Yeah. Um, when you found out that you were going to win, um, like, what was your reaction? How did you feel about that? Um, it started from from scratch, right? When I got nominated, you know, it was it was a big move for Ghana because uh, I think this like the third time, but nobody picked it up. So I was like the hope of Ghana, you know, they, they were relying on Sakodie, and I think the preparation was was okay because I had a movement going on and I had tours all over the world, so I knew I had some fan base somewhere. But you know, with Nigerians, it's kind of tricky because they have like a huge following, just even based in Nigeria. So that's like a very hard competition. But they are my boys as well, you know, we're scared, um, Ice Springs, they are my people, they know what we do. So I just said to myself, let's go and just represent, you know, let's have hopes. But um, if anything good comes out, why not, you know, we just celebrate. So it started from then till I got there. We had an itinerary from the first day I got there. Um, yeah, so me uh, meetings, I had um, interviews till the D-Day. Then we were all sitting there, then they're like, yo, so Sarkody and Whiskey had a tie. Okay. You know, it was a good feeling. Great feeling. So we know last year BET did, um, it was a joint award between the Bond and Two Face, and this award is between Sakodi and Wizkid. If you can, um, you know, you know, you don't want to compete, but if you can kind of change it, twi um, tweak it a little bit based on your fan base, your music, your videos, who really should have won the award? Do you think you or Wizkid? Oh, I, don't, I, I cannot judge because I'm an artist, right? So, and he also has a movement going on. I know Whiskey is that big, you know? So I think anybody who made it there is supposed to be there. And then they made, a, they made us understand that the, the tie, even those who did not even come close to me and Whiskey, we had some votes from somewhere, mm -hmm. you know? So I think we all work hard. We just, you know, probably maybe a tie is a tie. You can really tell who, who, who was supposed to win, I think, yeah. So if you don't really know about it, it's going all over the web. Um, it's kind of like a little controversial going on that I know BT is trying to show diversity, but um, they felt like they should have shown more love to you guys um, because it wasn't really showcased front end. You guys was given the award um, backstage. Do you feel any kind of um, resentment towards that or it's just it's all love? For the um, people out there who, who feels yeah, like... Yeah, and then that, that, that caption saying that we took the award backstage. We don't even have the award. The award is about to come. Nikki Minaj, but nobody has the award, you know, because they're, they're about to go and write your name on it since you won, and it's going to take like a month. Mm -hmm. So it's not like they gave us the award backstage. Mm -hmm. And this is um, an experience as an artist. I know I travel a lot, and I think people cherish their own first before they put somebody's own next, yeah. you know. So um, they, they want to recognize you guys, and that's why they brought you here in the first place but um this is america right and you know you know americans you know they yeah. are they're very like they, they they need their own first mm -hmm. right to beat time they would like to pay attention to their artists and i respect that if africa is going to lend that mm -hmm. which we are not and it's about time that when we're doing something in nigeria or ghana you concentrate on the ghanaian artists and nigerian artists yeah and that's what they're doing they're trying to educate us you know, so it's, it's a big move for you to even be nominated. And I, I don't think African, Africans should pay attention to me going on stage and give a speech and all. The best thing you have to jubilate is Sakodi has the award, you know, and I'm representing Ghana. So I think um, the attention going on that situation, I don't think it's necessary. You know, I think that they, are being, they are being Americans. If we have the same situation, we can be the same way. I don't think, I don't think it's that bad. Okay. Definitely you have that. So another thing is a zone toe. Everyone knows it everywhere all over the world people are doing it it's a movement it's a Ghanaian movement where would you say where did that come from like where did it start from arise from um i'm, I'm the wrong person to ask because, because i don't even understand it because um i think it evolved from a beat that i heard and then um in a studio and i did some some few lines on it and the next thing i heard was the biggest song in ghana it was like a freestyle song right mm -hmm. that started as onto so people were joining it, the train. It was it was that heavy. I didn't even plan to do that train of music, but it was that big that I had to continue, you know. And that was like the biggest song from from Ghana. And it's a movement meant to be, but I was just the one chosen to do it. I don't know who did that. It might be God Himself. So I'm. Um, I didn't plan to do Azonto. It just had to happen. But I was the the, the front setter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically. Just one more last question. Um, after the BET award, like, what did you guys do afterwards? Did you guys celebrate? Like, what was 
Um, so so funny. I'm not I'm not a party type. I don't party. I don't go to club. I don't. I've never went out before. So I'm not. I don't drink. I don't do anything. Yeah. So, okay. um, it's not. It's, that's not me. I have to jump around and call friends. I don't do it. I just call my mom. Like this, what happened? You know, my family they were jumping here and there. I heard back in Ghana they're having parties everywhere, like <laughs> pops, pops to pops. But for me, it was it was kind of like laid back. You know, my management were like. Yo, we should celebrate, but that's not me. They know me. I'll just have to be in my room alone. But um, I was thanking God Almighty because I prayed to Him before coming here in the states, and I prayed before going for the show that if He, he if He um, answers my prayers, He's gonna use me as a testimony to the young ones coming, and that's what He did. So I had to just tell Him that I thank Him, and yeah, maybe cocoa nice or something. I just had cocoa nice, and um, I did some video shout outs to my fans. I did some interviews back in Ghana. But tonight is going down here in ATL. You know, we're having a party. It's like I knew, right? I was not too sure. So I was not promoting this concert. I was like, yo, what if I don't win and I have to, like, still come here and perform? But, you know, God had reasons for anything that I did. So tonight is going down. We're having a party here in ATL. You girls are coming as well. Oh, so, definitely. Yeah, sure. That's we're going to be at Queens. And thank you so much for doing this thank interview. You if you guys don't know it, this is the one and only talented Sakodi right sitting next to me. And thank you for tuning in. This is Sheila E from Afrogis.